in, in any team process, any group process, any social process, or any organizational process, or literally in any national or international process, there are what might be termed dynamics of territorialism. This is mine and that's yours. This is who I am, that's who you are. This is my role, that's your role. This is my job, that's your job. These demarcations of territory and definitions of ego-identified process and social interaction are, are deemed necessary for self-protection or validation of one's worth or verification that, that we have relevance and thus safety socially and interpersonally. And we're not suggesting that they truly are worthwhile or beneficial or, or even necessary at all. And we would suggest that they have become the norm. They have become uh, the conditioned in social process or team process uh, in many areas of the world or organizational process. So whether that is uh, having access to information or control over information uh, or a documentation of any kind, or whether it's a process of having decision-making influence, uh, whether it's uh, based on our definitions of goals and values, if I do this, it means I'm important and I'm good. If I don't do this, I'm unimportant and bad or not relevant. Whether it is being a holder of knowledge or authority or control or management of any resource in the world of any kind, it, it ties into this territorialism dynamic who has the power, who has the authority, who has the relevance, who has the position, who's got the status or the hierarchy, and, and is it me, the ego me, that does or does not? And, and it informs us, uh, it, it doesn't really inform us, it influences whether we feel safe and, and important or useful or loved or cared about, even if it doesn't really determine whether we are loved or cared about or informed or, uh, or participative. This, this mapping of social territory and relational territory that then becomes a process of defending territory or trying to control territory or to get more territory to own or control or benefit from is, is so deeply ingrained in our world. It's so much a part of day-to-day -day life and decision-making. How, how would anybody feel if somebody put a long scratch along the side of their car? What would that mean? Would that trigger your territorialism and your ownership and supposed control of your vehicle if somebody did that? Would you be incensed? Would you be angered? Would you feel victimized, violated, abused, misunderstood, devalued? Or would you just look at it and say, oh, now there's a scratch on the side of the car. These, these dynamics of territorialism are part of the process of conscious collaboration. If any part of our systems wants to hold sway over or define or control or make be the decision maker, the single decision maker or the uh, most authoritative or most powerful decision maker, for egoic purpose or for safety or for self-validation or for social validation or for recognition or remuneration, 
is that supportive of optimized conscious collaboration? 